Hello guys, today we're going to be playing Pocket Frog. If you're not familiar with this game, um, well I've never played it on the channel and um, I would want to say this game is basically a frog collector's game. So if you guys are a fan of, I don't know, reptiles or amphibians, this is the game for you. But if you would like to see all my frogs... I would be glad to show you my frogs. So this is my second habitat, well my first habitat. When I first started the game, it is full with beautiful frogs. And my favorite in this habitat is this blue pruny ad adamantus. So now we're gonna um, take him out to the pond. Uh, I just want to quickly put my sound very down so you, can, so you guys can hear my voice better and you can still hear the game a little bit. But you guys obviously, ooh, coins. 21 coin is good. I'm not going to breed with you. Uh, so if you're wondering what the point of the game is, the point is to basically collect frogs. And get more habitats and just I don't know what the point of the rest of the point is, but you can also play your this game with your friends. Well it's not like a multiplayer game, but if you like to send your friends any frogs, you can just click gift and you can send um your friend any frog you would like, basically. But when when you do want to send them a frog, you would need a stamp. And if you had to look in my top left corner, I do not have any stamps. So it is not possible for me to send anybody a frog. But if you do um, uh, send, if you do have stamps, then you can... Um, Send your friend or your, I don't know, whoever you played the game, a um, frog. Ooh, we've got 79 co coins. But um, we're at 80% happy. If you want to know where that bar is, it's at the bottom, the red one. And the top is maturity bar. We're fully adult. But I'm not really trying to breed in this right now and um and if you're wondering what's the point of presence um the point is you can get coins from them you can get uh yes but my mailbox is full so i will not be getting that amazing habitat it's too bad my mailbox is full Okay. Ooh. Ah, oh, I wish my mailbox was not full. Yep, my mailbox is full. So I will not be getting that amazing frog today. And so the point of presence is you can get coins from them, habitats, and decorations. And finally, you can also get frogs sometimes. But I love getting coins because the more coins you have, the more frogs you can buy and habitats. So, but if you do not have any coins, um, then you basically, I don't know what you want to call it. I don't really know the word. Bankrupt, kind of like that. Because then you cannot afford anything anything you cannot breed because if you want to breed you need money and but in the game when you start off you have 10 stamps and 10 potions and I, I'm not sure of the amount of money you start off with but you know as you get to higher levels look like I'm in level 4 then I um, run out of potions because I just use them like I've probably used Ooh, we almost missed a present. Nope. 
Yeah, mailbox is so full. Okay. One stamp. Okay. So just to give you guys an example, I'm going to send my brother a frog. So now I'm going to go to my uh, nursery. I'm going to see. Ooh. I'm going to just for example, guys. So now, as you can see in your friends, if you're wondering how to make friends, you would have to go to neighbors. Then you say add friend, and then your friend would have to be next to you, and so he can tell you his code. Then you press enter, give him a, nip, give him a name, and then you got yourself a friend. So if I had to go to my friend, my brother, Joel, then I can see all the frogs he has. As you can see, this is his um, entire collection of frogs. He's in level 5, 4,000... And 12 coins. I know, guys, that's actually pretty crazy. And if you had to look at my favorite frog that he has right now, this is a glass sailor sebrae. It is actually an invisible frog or see through, like glass, that's what they call it the glass something something. If you had to go his nursery, ooh, very nice. I love this frog. Black pruny cristalli. The only thing I struggle with in this game is the names of the frogs. That's just a little bit nuts. Like black, salus, pung, tea. I don't know. Let's go to this habitat. Ooh. That is a cool frog right there, guys. Man. But again, he's in level 5, so that is why he has such good frogs. But anyway, guys, these are my frogs. I have just a little bit less than him and one level behind him and 2,000 coins away from him, below him. And if you see, guys, in the bottom left of your habitat bars, you can see little settings toggle. If you click on them, it will give you habitat options. Move all, sell all. Gift all, lock all, and cancel. I do not want to do that. For example, if you had to gift all, you would obviously see how much frogs you have in the habitat. Like in the bottom habitat, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven frogs, eight frogs. So if I wanted to gift all, you'd click the button. Obviously, you would need um, eight stamps, but the less frogs you have, you can actually. Ooh, I have. One stamp. I'm going to go to my mailbox place. Ooh, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Place there. Place there. No, there. Place. And there. Okay, okay, whatever. Okay. Maybe this. Place. There goes. Congratulations, you've earned a new parent award. Parent award, what does that mean? I do not know what that means. But, anyways, if we had to go now to our habitat, it is just literally full of plants. And I love these maple leaves. They're just my favorite plant in the game. And it's very lush, I showed you earlier. But anyway, guys, if you enjoy this episode, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next episode of Pocket Frogs. Bye.